strip screws, I'm in a jam. I'm gonna review the speed out screw extractor. What I saw, they come in titanium and cobalt. Cobalt was more expensive and the package says it lasts 10 times longer. Let's see if this works. And if it doesn't, I still need to get this screw out. Let's go. This screw is stripped and seized. It's not moving, metal on metal. I saw the titanium screw extractor on other reviews were rounding off. I thought, let's try the highest end extractor made of cobalt that sells for $20 and let's see if this will remove the strip screw as it says in seconds. Easy as one, two, three. Let's see. The package came with four size drill bits with a nice carrying case. You need a two-way variable speed drill and it says the bit can be damaged if the screw exceeds two inches. It does say it can handle screws in wood and metal. Okay, here's the culprit. I tried by hand and it didn't budge. I tried with a battery powered drill and this wouldn't budge. I tried with a plug-in with more torque and this one came out. But look how small this is. You wouldn't think it would be in so tight. When I used the plug-in drill, it just stripped right through the other one. You drill this side counterclockwise and it will make grooves in the screw that the other end can bite onto while still moving counterclockwise. Here's the kit. The screw is an M6. This one should do the trick. So this side is first that makes the grooves. I'll try this in my portable battery power drill. Okay, it's secure and moving counterclockwise. Let's make some grooves. That seems like it made the grooves. The good thing is the cobalt didn't round off like the titanium. This is encouraging. And then I flip it to this side to grip and remove. Let's flip the speed out bit around and it says apply pressure while reversing at slow speeds. The drill is stuck and can't move. This bit is biting into the strip screw. That is a really good sign. This thing works. However, I need more torque, so I press down harder on the trigger and the cobalt bit broke. Not only did it break, it broke in the stripped screw, making my situation worse. It's stuck. Did I put too much torque too quick or the screw is in so tight that the bit would break anyway? If this was in wood or not this tight, I believe this speed out screw extractor would work. I absolutely have to get this screw out of this brake caliper or my car isn't going anywhere. When all else fails, another one of my favorite tools, it's time for the angle grinder. I'll make a slot for a flathead screwdriver. There you go, a nice spot for the flathead. Good thing I'm planning on replacing this caliper anyway. Okay, now I'm gonna use my plug-in drill with more torque and the largest, thickest flathead bit I could find. It finally came out. It looks like it was rusted in pretty good. It's amazing how it was fused in so tight. This little thing was a pain. There you go. The speed out bit does work, but even their strongest cobalt could break. You know, I still think it's a good product. It was biting, but I just had too much pressure with a screw that was ridiculously tight. I hope this review helped out. If it did, please let me know by giving me a like and subscribe.